Good morning students. We are learning water resource engineering and hydrology. We are discussing on dams and reservoir. In today's lecture we will discuss about dams. So let's discuss about dams and their types. Well, dams. A dam is a hydraulic structure. Those are constructed across a river or we can say a natural stream that to create a reservoir for impounding the water. Well, the water stored in the reservoir uh, can be used for various purposes such as irrigation or we can say the domestic water purpose, then industrial, industrial supplies, then hydraulic power generation, recreation and flood control etc. Well, due to this construction of dam, water level in the river at their upstream side can be increased and a large area may be submerged that depending upon the water spread of the reservoir. Well, there is one more structure that is uh, similar to the dam but not exactly the dam and that is fear. So, uh, there is a difference that is made in between dam and weir that is a weir is a structure that built across the river while the basic purpose of constructing weir is not to store the water but to divert the water so there is no reservoir on the upstream of a weir because we do not have that purpose to store the water or to store the water for uh, hydroelectric power generation and etc. So this weir can be basically used just to divert the water from its actual path. Okay, If there is a small storage reservoir on the upstream side of the weir then such a uh, weir that is known as the storage weir. Now let's discuss uh, about the classification of dams that various types of dams that we have uh, based on uh, different different purpose and aspects so the classification of dams according to the use of that particular dam or the structure that uh, the first that is the storage dam a storage dam those are constructed to store the water during the rainy season when there is a large flow in the river while the stored water can be utilized later during the period when the flow in the river is reduced or we can say at the time of drought we can use uh, such water. Well uh, as an example storage dam can be uh, gravity dam or earthen dam or rock fill dam etc. Well the next is the diversion dam. Well a diversion dam is constructed for the purpose of diverting the water of the river into off-taking canal. As in the introduction we discuss about a weir so that is nothing but the kind of a diversion dam. Okay, So a diversion dam is usually of low height and has a small storage reservoir on its upstream side. Well the third that is the detention dam. Well, Detention dam are constructed for the flood control. This detention dam retards the flow of water in the river on its downstream during the floods by storing some flood water okay now the water those retained in the reservoir then released gradually at a controlled rate so at initial stage if there is a flood uh, such uh, detention dams store some amount of water so that we can uh, dilute or we can decrease the intensity of that flood. Well, the fourth one that is the debris dam. Well, a debris dam is constructed to retain the debris such as gravel, sand, silt, or sometimes we observe such uh, floating timber pieces in the river water. Well, the water that passing over a debris dam is relatively clear just because at this debris dam we are stopping or we are retaining such debris is at that particular stage so after that whatever water will flow that will be comparatively clear 
So sometimes a check dam is constructed across the river at upstream side of the reservoir to trap the sediments, to control the sedimentation in the reservoir. So such type of check dams is called as a debris dam. So debris dam is nothing but a kind of check dam. The fourth one that is the coffer dam. A coffer dam is a temporary structure those constructed around the construction site to exclude the water from a specific area so as to carry out the construction in a relatively dry condition. So for an example, we can say uh, if you are constructing a bridge on a river so that whenever you are constructing a pile or when, whenever you are constructing a foundation for such bridges at that foundation stage, you need a dry surface to make a particular strengthable foundation. So at that case, you need to construct a coffer dam. That would be a temporary structure, okay? So that you can have that dry space. Well, a coffer dam is not actually a kind of dam. It is an enclosure around the construction site. So for the construction of mainly dam across the river, or we can say the bridge, an upstream coffer dam is constructed and the water from river is then diverted to the diversion tunnel. Or sometimes uh, we can uh, provide this coffer dam at the downstream side of the reservoir also. So these are the classification according to the use that is storage dam, diversion dam, detention dam, debris dam and the coffer dam. Okay. Now let's discuss that the classification according to the hydraulic design. Well, according to the hydraulic design, uh, dam can be classified as an overflow dam and the non-overflow dam. Okay, so first let's discuss about the overflow dam. Well, an overflow dam is the one which is designed to carry the surplus discharge over the crest. So its crest level is kept lower than the top of the other portion of the dam. Here you can see uh, in this figure where the crest level is lower than other structure. So this is the top height of the dam and the crest level is below that top level so that the water of the reservoir can easily come at the downstream side of the dam. So such dams are generally made of concrete or masonry. An overflow dam is commonly known as the spillways. Okay, so this is we can consider as a spillway. Well, the non-overflow dam, a non-overflow dam is the one in which the top of the dam is kept at a higher elevation than the maximum expected high flood level. So the water is not permitted to overtop the dam. So this kind of dams would be a uh, gravity dam or the rock fill dam, etc. Well, the next that is the classification according to the material. Well, according to material, again, we have two different types of dam that is the rigid dam and non rigid dam. Well, well, rigid dams are those which are constructed of rigid material such as the concrete, masonry, steel, timber, etc. So this dam deflect and deform very little when they subjected to the water pressure or any other pressure as it constructed from the rigid material. Okay, so the concrete gravity dam or a steel dam or arc dam that can be considered in the rigid dam. And if we talk about the non-rigid dams, non-rigid dams are those which are constructed of non-rigid materials such as earth or the rock fill material. So there are relatively large sediments and deformation uh, possible in a non-rigid dams. Okay, so rock fill dam or earthen dam can be considered in the non-rigid dams. Well, the last classification that is the classification based on structural behavior and which is more important and that is the gravity dam first, arc dam, buttress dam, earthen dam and rock fill dam. Let's first discuss about the gravity dam. Well, a gravity dam is one in which the external force such as the water pressure or the wave pressure, silt pressure. Okay, so those pressure are resisted by the weight of the dam. 
well thus the stability of the gravity dam that depends upon the weight of particular dam the gravity dam are usually made of cement and concrete cement concrete okay in the past the gravity dams were made of of stone masonry but now the masonry dams are rarely constructed so nowadays we can consider nowadays we are constructing such gravity dam from the material of cement concrete okay a gravity dam may be uh, either a straight or maybe in the couch shape well uh, if we talk about uh, advantage of gravity dam there are more advantages such as uh, it has a strong and durable uh, foundation it has a more uh, life span it can be constructed of any height uh, which is by providing a suitable foundation okay uh, the gravity dams are well adapted for the use of overflow spillway crest the main important thing that it has a very least maintenance and the failure of gravity dam is not a sudden so uh, by observing it regularly you can found out or you may able to found out that is there any damages or is there any uh, dangerous sign for its failure or not so after recognizing uh, that failure you may have the remedies of that failure the uh, benefit cost ratio is always higher for the gravity dam but with uh, this advantages it has also some uh, disadvantages such as uh, uh, for such heavy construction you may have the sound rock foundation uh, with also it requires high initial cost also for the construction you may need uh, very skilled labor so that there may not be any lack of construction now let's discuss about the arc dam well an arc dam is covered in plan with its convexity towards the upstream side arc dam transfers the water pressure and other forces mainly to the abutments by an arc action this is the usp of the arc dam that this dam transfers the water pressure or any other forces to the abutments by the arc action so an arc dam is quite suitable for the narrow canyons with the strong banks which are capable of resisting the thrust that produced by the arc action well the selection of arc dam is approximately triangular like a gravity dam but the section is comparatively thinner the arc dam may have a single curvature or that may be possible there would be a double curvature in the vertical plan if we talk about the buttress dam a buttress dam that consists of a number of buttresses or we can say the piers that dividing the space so to retain the water between this buttress panels are constructed of horizontal arches or the we can say the flat slabs well there are different types of buttress dam such as a deck type multiple arc type buttress dam multiple dome and bulk head type but raised them so when this panels consist of arch it is known as the multiple arc type but raised them and if this panels consist of a flat slab it is known as the deck type but raised them uh, next that is the earthen dam and the rock fill dam well this both are comparatively similar because they generally made up of earthen material or rock material the earthen dam is an embankment type dam this are made up of locally available soils and gravels so therefore there are they are the most common type of dam used up to some moderate heights their construction involves utilization of materials in the natural state that requiring a minimum processing earthen dams are rolled fill dam hydraulic fill dam uh, semi hydraulic fill dam etc okay similarly if you talk about the rock fill dam rock fill dam is an embankment which uses variable sizes of rock to provide the stability and an impervious membrane to provide the water tightness so the main part of the rock fill dam are dumped rock fill then upstream rubble cushion 
then upstream impervious facing so that water cannot pass from it and upstream cutoff to check under some seepage. So these are the earthen dam and the rock fill dam. Now if we talk about the advantage of this that they are most commonly used okay almost any type of foundation is available for such earthen dams and rock fill dams well you don't need the skill labor to construct such kind of dam it is obviously uh, naturally available so these are the very cheaper dams also uh, these are more uh, earthquake resistant than the gravity dams and can be constructed in a relatively short period well the second side of this earth and rock fill dam that is if we talk about the disadvantage then this cannot be uh, designed as an overflow section okay they are not suitable at the location where a heavy uh, downpour is common also the maintenance cost is quite high uh, and it requires constant supervision but also uh, such dams are not uh, permissible or not feasible at uh, steep slopes okay so these are the disadvantage of rock fill dam and earthen dam we are keeping till this point for this lecture thank you so much for your kind attention i will see you in the next lecture